this is Catherine of Fit Armadillo, the fitness company that lets you enjoy fitness at your place and your pace. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. Today for Titan and Tone Tuesday, we are only two days away from Christmas. And so I wanted to give you a little bit of insight into the challenge that I am about to share with you that will start on Christmas Day itself. If you were a fan of Fit Armadillo last year, first of all, thank you for being on this journey with me. A lot has changed. I've gone through at least two official website changes. Last year I was blogging over on Blogspot versus on WordPress. So, you know, really big journey and I appreciate you for being a fan. And you also remember that I did the 12 days of fitness blog challenge. So for those of you that are new, I'm just going to go over the blog challenge and give you some tips for joining in if you don't have a blog yet but want to be a part of the fun. So the 12 days of fitness challenge is a challenge for you to be active in some way and I give the minimum requirement of 10 minutes of walking every single day from Christmas, which is December 25th to 12 days after, which is January 5th. And in order to document that, I am challenging you to write a blog post telling us what you did for your fitness each day of the challenge. So you will need to have a blog in order to join in. So if you don't have a blog, I'm gonna show you how to get set up with one through Blogger, which is a Google blog feature. I know some of my friends that are in the web design industry might not be excited about me saying that Blogger is the website I want you to use. If you think about doing a blog long term, you probably want to be on WordPress. But I know that it's very easy to get started with Blogger and that's what I did. So I'm going to share that with you. My mom actually also started on Blogger and joined the challenge last year. So that's all I'll share with you today so you can get started. Please don't feel like you have to use Blogger, but I wanted to go through how to get started with it in this video in order to help you out. So let's go over and see what the screen looks like to get into Blogger. All right, so here I'm gonna show you how to create your own blog using Google's Blogger product. So you will need to have your own Google account, but this is a free blog option and you don't have to have your own domain. So not to get things complicated, but a domain name is something like for my website, it's fitarmadillo.com and my blog is over on that domain. But if you don't want to pay to have a domain, like I actually pay every year to have fitarmadillo.com as my domain, then Blogger is a great way to get started. So you can find Blogger by typing Blogger into Google search and it should be the first thing that shows up here, blogger.com. Or you can also go over to this grid here in Google and find it that way. And like I said, you will need your own Google account, but as long as you have that, you're just gonna go sign in. Here's Sally Sample right now signing in to Google. And then you'll get over to the blogger section and then you're just going to say I want to have a new blog and the title of the blog is going to be Sally Samples blog not very creative but and then you want to have an address so if you don't have a custom domain then you're just going to have something.blogspot.com so let's see if this is available Sally Samples blog.blogspot.com it is available and then they do give you all these template options. Um, I'm just gonna do the simple one for now, but you're, you can definitely browse around and check that out. And I'm going to create the blog. All right, so the blog has now been created and I can just start posting. So I can click on this button here or really what you'll do each time you sign in is click on this little pencil. That's gonna let you write a post. Here's some other options that you can look at. Overview, comments, right? Or you can just view the blog itself at the URL that that blog is located at, which would be sallysamplesblog.blogspot.com. But let's just quickly write a new post. So we'll try this out right now. So here you'd write your blog post title. So I'm going to say Sally Samples Blog Day One. And then here you can write in your blog post. So this is my first blog post. Okay? Very simple. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. You can add labels here. You could schedule your post if you don't want it to post right now. Um, you can find out what the link is to this one page itself. 
and there's lots of other options here, but again, we're going to keep it really simple. If I'm continuing to write on this later, I could say save. I can also preview it. So here's what I have so far. Right here is day one. Um, that's the preview that I just did, but I'm going to save it. And I'm going to publish it just for you guys to see right now. So now it's published. So now that I have it published, I can actually view that page. I clicked on view here and it's live and this is the blog itself. And I'm going to show you the URL here. So this URL is the URL for just this one page. If I click on the name of my blog, it's going to just show the blog itself in general. But you know, here right now we can only see this one blog post that she has. If we click on this, if it was a longer post, we would actually see more info than what is just going to be held on that one page. Um, but that's basically what you would do to get set up. Now, if you're participating in the blog challenge, I want you to share the URL for your blog posts each day. So Sally Sample would come here and copy this URL up top when she's entered this unique post. So I want to make sure instead of having you share Sally Samples blog.blogspot.com or if it was on my website fitarmadillo.com, I want you to share the unique post for that given day. So if you're in Blogspot and you're on the home page and this is your home URL, you would click on the post you want to share, copy the URL up here, and then you can go into our Fit Club and share that. And I'm going to have in the Fit Club, I'll just sign into that right now. So here's Facebook. And as the challenge goes on, I'm going to have a post that will be pinned to the top. Your URL, you would just share this here and say, like, hey guys, here is my post for day one of the challenge. And I'm going to have everyone share their posts. And then what I'd like you to do is come back and copy everyone's URLs in and share that on your page. So once everyone's shared their blog posts, you can come back to your post, click on this little pencil to edit it, and then you can say, check out other bloggers in this challenge. And once you know their names, you might be able to say what they're doing, but Sally Sample post is here. Right? So that's just very simple. Once you're done editing here, right, this was her first blog post, you could say update. It was already published, so we're just going to say update. Or you can preview it just to see what it's going to look like. So we'll just preview that there. Okay, good. We can see it. And let's say update. We'll go back to view it. Okay, so I'm noticing that it's not a hyperlink, so we're going to go back and edit it real quick. And just copy this and say link. So it, now it'll actually be clickable. So once I update that now, and click to view the page and so what the world would see if they went to that unique URL just for day one is they could actually click and visit Sally's blog if it was a unique blog as well. So that's just a quick overview of how to get set up with Blogger. I hope it's helped you and I hope that you're able to join the challenge. If you don't have a blog, hopefully this is going to help you get started and get set up. All right, so I hope you are as excited as I am for this year's 12 Days of Fitness blog challenge. Once you have set up your blog, or if you already have a blog, be sure to stop by under the comments below this video and let us know the name of your blog. Do your first blog post if you need to. And then during the challenge, I will be sharing what I'm doing each day, and then I'll also be sharing your blog post as well, so make sure you're aware of that. And hopefully it'll help bring some traffic to your blog, and you'll just get to meet some other people and get inspired by others that are enjoying the challenge and if you do the challenge every single day for the 12 days I will be doing some fun things at the end so stay tuned for that stay motivated have a wonderful Christmas and holiday and I will be seeing you during the challenge thanks bye